let's look at it uh, in a little more detail. Now, the competition view uh, says that uh, you need to identify the key success factor in your industry. Right? Every industry has a key success factor. Right? And the company needs to identify that factor. Now, competition has certain assumptions. All competitive activity is based on certain assumptions. If the company follows the assumptions of competition, that's one kind of uh, strategic approach. However, if the company chooses to segment the market in a different way from competition, then that's an entirely different kind of approach. So the competition view of strategy advocates that the company should look at segmenting the market not in the way in which competition has segmented the market but look at new ways of segmenting the market. Um, let's take the example of uh, Amul. A couple of decades back in India, you only had um, overseas uh, companies, overseas brands of uh, dairy products. These were all uh, expensive uh, dairy products. Uh, they were all um, dairy products which catered to consumers whose primary uh, interest was in the most uh, attractive kind of uh, dairy product. Customers for whom price was not a primary consideration. Now, in this situation, we had uh, the uh, Amul, the Anand uh, Milk Union. In fact, Amul uh, is really the short form of Anand Milk Union Limited. Now, Anand uh, Cooperative was formed and um, there were uh, tens of thousands of um, farmers who were bringing milk together and uh, all this milk was uh, then sold to uh, consumers. Milk was also converted into dairy products. Now, the Amul brand of dairy products focused on a different segment of the customer altogether. It focused on customers who were price conscious. Now, here are two different ways of segmenting the market. The overseas companies operating in India segmented the market on the basis of product variety. Amul segmented the market on the basis of price. This is fundamentally a question of competition-based strategy. Now, let's look at uh, this Amul example a little deeper uh, to understand a very important concept in uh, competition-based strategy. And that is the difference between operational effectiveness and strategic effectiveness. We owe uh, a great uh, debt to uh, Professor Michael Porter, who has uh, done sterling work in competitive-based strategy and uh, who has uh, elaborated this difference between operational effectiveness and strategic effectiveness. Now, operational effectiveness is doing the same things as competition but doing them better. Strategic effectiveness is doing different things from competition to get the same result as competition. Right? So, let's apply the Amul uh, story to this. You have Amul you have the overseas brands. The overseas brands are looking at uh, product variety. Now, if Amul were 
to also look at product variety and if Amul provided better product variety than the overseas brands, that would be operational effectiveness. That would certainly be one way in which Amul could compete with the overseas brands. That's one strategy, right? In this case, your st Amul strategy is a question of being operationally effective. However, they have chosen a strategy of strategic effectiveness. What they, what they have said is that they will produce products which cater to those who value price. So, they are looking at providing different things from competition. They are not looking at doing the same things as competition and doing it better. They are looking at doing different things from competition. This is the uh, fundamental difference between um, competitive strategy and competence-based uh, strategy. Let's look at uh, what uh, Professor Goodwin has to say on um, the link between operational excellence and um, strategic planning. Operational excellence is important in today's organizations as, as the organizations try to eliminate waste and become more efficient and more effective and strategic management helps organizations in the big picture be pointed in the right direction. And my goal is to make sure that uh, students that graduate from the program have a clear understanding, a model to use for strategic planning. And basically the first part of the semester is structured in which we go through that model. Uh, mission and vision, internal analysis, external analysis, strategic objectives, and then how to develop strategies to achieve those objectives how to execute or implement those strategies and then how to evaluate those strategies. That's the basic model with a feedback loop. And it's my goal that by the end of the semester every student understands that model clearly. And of course it gets applied differently in different industries. I mean there's different success factors, there's different um, internal core competencies, there's different external environmental issues in every industry, but it's, it's the same basic model that, that's used and each um, time that, that they do strategic planning or organization does strategic planning, it's important to make sure all those components are, are present. Strategic planning is important um, really for any endeavor as it relates to, to management graduate training and certainly within operational excellence because operational excellence will it, it's a way of traveling if so to speak the um, strategic planning helps guide the what direction that that way of traveling goes so what products you choose what uh, how you structure the organization what what markets what businesses you're in what what you're not in um, that's all very important to um, to an organization and it complements very well operational excellence in the, in the broader context.